Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Jedi Survivor video. Today I'm showing you guys how to make Kanan Jarrus from Star Wars Rebels. Guys, I'm having a lot of fun making these. I know I'm saying it every episode, but this is the last customization episode that I came up with. And the next customization videos are going to be suggestions from you guys. I already have a couple stacked up. You just go ahead, leave a suggestion or a character you want me to make in the comments below. If your suggestion gets picked, you'll get a personalized shout-out and also how to make that customized character as well. This is also just for a way for me to reach out and kind of connect with you guys. So I already have a couple suggestions already jotted down and already recorded. Um, so if you already have suggested one like a while back and I still have not gotten to it yet, yours will be first. But if you go ahead and leave a comment on this video or... Yeah, if you leave a comment on this video, I'll be doing your suggestion as well. But let me show you guys how to make Kanan Jarrus and his lightsaber and how to make BD-1 look like Chopper from Star Wars Rebels. Without further ado, let's get into it. With the lightsaber, like always, for our emitter, we are going to want to go Serenity. Now, if you want, you can also go Harmony, but if you also like kind of the smaller emitters, um, do Serenity. But... It is based on personal preference. If you want Harmony, go Harmony. If you want Serenity, go ahead and go Serenity as well. It doesn't really matter which one you do. I think both look really good, but um, I, for one, I mean, I like the Harmony a lot, but uh, I much rather prefer Serenity. They look almost the same, just with... This one is just a bit smaller, and it just kind of makes it look more clean, in my opinion. For our Switch, we are going to want to go our good old justice switch i think this one looks absolutely clean and i think it looks the closest to canon jars um actual lightsaber so i think this one looks really good um so use justice for our grip go ahead and use the um hunter switch or the hunter grip if you have if you pre-ordered go ahead and use the hermit grip or if you don't want any of that, the best I can also give you is Persistence. Just for me, I just don't like it. I don't like how that one's wrapped around. But um, the Hunter is probably going to be your bestest bet if you don't have the Hermit. So go ahead and use that as well. For Pomel, Pomel you're going to want to go to Gyro to Paul. So, um, so yeah, that's how you kind of design his lightsaber like that. But let me show you guys the materials real quick. For our primary, you're going to want to go Metal Alloy. It just looks super duper clean and I like it a lot. For secondary, you also want to go a Metal Alloy as well. For accent, you want to go Dark Iron. It just kind of makes it look a bit more dark. And it, it makes it look more clean in my opinion. For our grip, you're going to want to go Kashyyyk um, Laurel Green. Um, I think that one also looks really good as well and kind of our closest to it uh what did i just do okay we're good and then obviously pristine condition and obviously our blade is going to want to be blue i think this is the closest we're going to get to um canon jars's lightsaber in my opinion the grip also if you really want to um there was a time where you kind of had a, a darker grip you guys can go ahead and use the dark iron grip as well um, but I'm just going to stick for the rest of this video with the, Kash the Kashyyyk Alero Green. I just think it looks really darn good. Um, and probably the closest we are going to get um, to Kanan Jars' actual lightsaber. I think it just looks really good. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make his blaster as well. Go ahead and remove the attachments. You're not going to need it. For the barrel, you're going to want to go... Um, arcade heavy um like i said remove attachments if you want to keep it on but i think for the more thin look make it look more nice um do go ahead and remove attachments um for our body go ahead and select where is it at um go ahead and select quick draw if you want and then also for our grip go ahead and also do a racket heavy you can also do the heavy one with that body as well but uh, for me i do think quick draw does look a bit cleaner and yeah make sure you are using the heavy grip as well 
For materials, for primary, you're going to go Inquisitor Dark Gray. For secondary, you're also going to want to go Inquisitor Dark Gray. For accent, also Inquisitor Dark Gray. Only thing that's changing is you want to go Greal Wood for the grip. So that's how you're going to make um, Kinjars' um, Blaster. I think this one also looks about as identical as we're going to get. We'll also for condition, kept it well kept instead of pristine. Normally it's always pristine, but for me, I think just to make it look a little bit um, rusty a little bit, to go ahead and do well kept. I was going to do uh, worn, but they look about the same, but uh, well kept for me is definitely the best to go. I think it just makes it look more, makes it look cleaner in a way. Now let's show you guys how to make BD1 look like Chopper. Now, for BD1, you're going to want all of his parts to be Astro. I could have sworn that was Astro before. Make it look all Astro. Um, that is if you have the Deluxe Edition. If not, you're going to have to play around a little bit. If not, then just go ahead and do just his regular look. But if you have Deluxe, um, go ahead and use all of his Astro parts um, as well. I think, just, why is that not saving, dude? <laughs> I didn't equip it, that's why. Okay, there we go. But yeah, make sure it's on all Astro parts. It's just going to be your best look. For material, you're going to want to go and you're going to want to do Rebel Paint. Or, sorry, not Rebel Paint. You're going to go Inquisitor White. Inquisitor White looks really clean instead of going just the regular Starter White, the Jedi White. I think this one is just more the, the whitish. Uh, it just looks a bit more clean, in my opinion. It makes it look more more fresh in my opinion i did not mean to exit out that is my bed um for secondary you're going to want to go rebel paint and you want to go rebel orange for accents you want to go back to rebel paint but this time make it rebel yellow and for a condition you're once again you're going to want to go to well kept to make it look a bit more rusty um so yeah that's our bd1 making bd1 look like chopper it's a super cool design, and I think it just, you know, why not throw a BD1 customization in there as well? I think it looks really clean. It is now time to make our Cal Kestis look like Cannon Jars. Easily, easily the best part of every video is just changing up Cal. I mean, he's the main character. You want to make him look like some of your favorite characters. You know, Kanan is huge in Rebels, and so why not make him look like uh, Cannon Jars? Because why not? Um... So for hair, you're going to want to go bun. I think bun looks really slick um, and probably the closest to Kanan's hair in general. For beard, you want to go the short goatee. Also is looking the closest to... Um, looking the closest to um, Kanan. Now, the scene where he goes blind, I think, right? Yeah, um, you want to go full beard. But if you're not doing that and you're just doing regular, you can go short goatee, or you can just do regular goatee, but I think short is going to be your best bet. For jackets, you're going to want to go to the Bandalore, and you want to do the second to last option. Um, it just looks the cleanest. Or, do this every time, or if you want to, um, you can do the first one. But for me, I think the second one, or the second to last one just looks a lot cleaner for shirt you're gonna want to go bomber and you're gonna do this kind of th you're gonna do the third one um like i said just keeps that little nice color coloring going on i really like it and then for pants you want to go the survivor pants and you want to kind of do um the fourth color i think that also looks really good as well um so yeah, that is practically our Cal Kestis making him look like um, Cannon Jars. I think he looks super duper clean. I really like this customization quite a lot, especially for uh, the Rebels fans. So if you like Rebels, this would definitely be an amazing one to go ahead and run around and use. Here is him with the full look. He just looks super duper clean. I really do like this one. I really like the Rebels TV show as well. Um, so this one looks really cool. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, 
please, like I said at the very beginning, leave a comment down below with a suggestion, a character you want me to do, and I'll do it, and you'll get a personalized shout-out. It's just a nice way for me to say thank you, um... Uh, as a creator, for all the love and support these Jedi Survivor videos are getting. Um, like I said, I have a lot of fun making these. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Leave your uh, suggestions down in the comments below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.